Hi everyone, my name is Charm Garcia. I am a professional singer and MC, a voiceover talent, now a YouTube vlogger. So, welcome to another video. And this time, we are going to, to answer another random question from a random friend. So, hindi ko na sila babanggitin. Basta, ang question natin ngayon is... Ate Charm, paano ba kumanta ng mga kantang pang lalaki? Male songs are very challenging to sing because of the lyrics. Yung tono okay lang, pwede namang ibaba or itaas ayon sa key na abot ng boses mo. Kung magpe-perform ka naman with minus one like I do at some venues, you just have to look for a female key na mga karaoke songs sa YouTube like Covers PH and other YouTube channels na magustuhan mo or I highly recommend this site called X Minus Pro. Ilang taon ko na po itong ginagamit at pwede kang mamili ng version na gusto mo and pwede mong i-adjust yung tempo or yung pitch nung kanta. Oops! Di po tayo sponsored ng X Minus Pro or ng any YouTube channel pero these websites have really helped me a lot for several years now. So, I am giving away this free information para makatulong naman sa mga wonderful people na mahilig kumanta. Now, let's go back to singing male songs. Bakit nga ba challenging kumanta ng male songs, especially kung impromptu? Di naman kasi natin maiiwasan na ma-requestan tayo ng kanta habang nagpe-perform. Kaya, ano nga ba ang magandang gawin para ma-preserve natin yung essence ng kanta? Karaniwan sa mga kantang bang lalaki ay specifically dedicated or addressed to a female. Kaya may words sa lyrics na she, her, hers, or herself na most commonly pinaparaphrase by changing the pronoun to he, him, his, or himself. But sometimes when we do this, the song does not make sense at all. Perfect example is Girl from Ipanema by Carlos Jobim. Nako, lumang kanta na yan pero ang dami pa rin may paborito ng kanta na ito and madalas na request ito sa kahit sa ang lounge, even sa mga bars na may acoustic setup. I heard a lot of singers sing this as Boy from Ipanema. And disclaimer lang po, I have nothing against singers who would sing this song as Boy from Ipanema. So please, wag po kayong magagalit sa akin. This video is not intended to criticize you. This is just my personal opinion and I am sharing this information just to suggest na sa inyo na po yun kung okay po ba and acceptable sa inyo ang opinion ko or hindi. First and foremost, let me just mention that this song is originally a Portuguese song by Brazilian singer-composer Carlos Jobim. And the words were written in Portuguese by Vincius Moraes. Later on, it was written in English by Norman Gimbel, a popular American lyricist and songwriter. In short, lalaki ang nag-compose, lalaki ang lyricist, lalaki din ang nag-interpret, lalaki din ang nag-translate sa English kasi tungkol ito sa magandang babae sa beach ng Ipanema. O yan na, may spill na kayo bago nyo kantahin ito pag na-request sa inyo. Now, there is a rich historical background to this song and sometimes it could be nice to add a little story as your opening spill. Anyway, andyan ang Google, pwede nyong i-Google kung para kanino ba talaga kinompose itong kanta na ito, di ba? Now, before you give into the request, you can say all this stuff. But, without all these available informations, and you, as a singer, knowing the song by heart as Girl from Ipanema, ito po ang honest opinion ko. You should just sing this song as the original Girl from Ipanema, but from a third person's perspective. Here is why. Let's look first into the lyrics of Girl from Ipanema and why it doesn't make sense to sing it as Boy from Ipanema. Okay, so first stanza muna tayo. Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking. And when she passes, each one she passes goes, ah. When she walks, she's like a samba that swings so cool and sways so gentle that when she passes, each one she passes goes, ah. Now, mind you, the lyrics were written in English by a male songwriter. So, natural lang na ang lalaki na ito is speaking of a beautiful girl from Ipanema. 
the very same girl that Carlos Jobim was referring to in his song Garota J Ipanema. This is how some female singers sing this song in male perspective. Tall and tan and young and handsome, the boy from Ipanema goes walking, and when he passes, each one he passes goes ah. Now, I have traveled to Ipanema Beach, and yes, there are tall and tan and young and handsome boys or young guys who are okay to be looked at in an admiring manner. But the second stanza is where it all goes a bit weird in my opinion. Ito na yung second stanza. When he walks, he's like a samba that swings so cool and sways so gentle that when he passes, each one he passes goes ah. Well, in my opinion, when you are at a beach and you are sort of looking around, it doesn't matter whether you are just sightseeing or scouting. In my honest opinion, no boy or man in any other beach, including Ipanema, walks like a samba or swings so cool and sways so gentle without being gay. Now, I am not being homophobic here, but when you are a straight woman who suddenly sees an attractive male figure, you actually don't talk about the way he walks. You just look at him and his manly demeanor, his manly voice, if marinig mo man yun, or his muscular physique, or even his handsome face. Sometimes may mga cute guys, sometimes agaw pansin naman yung napaka-manly, depende kung saan ka naa-attract. Now, I have seen a variety of boys and men walking in beaches, particularly in Ipanema. And when they walk, they don't swing or sway. They're very manly when they walk. Now, here is the thing. Bakit kaya pinanggit ni Norman Gimbel yung lyrics na like a samba? Well, because he is actually talking about the swaying of the hips of the girl or the woman, which is so well pronounced in the Brazilian dance called Samba. As some of you may know, I am not just a singer. I am also a dancer and I dance samba. When you are dancing samba kasi, naka-accentuate yung movement ng hips. That's why he says on the next lines, swing so cool and sways so gentle. That's exactly how samba dance looks like. The swinging of the hips is so cool and no effort at all. The sway is also gentle, meaning it is the natural movement of the hips of the woman when dancing and it shows also when walking. And this is exactly what the song is about. Girl from Ipanema is a song about a beautiful woman with a beach body walking sexy and confident by the beach. So if you are going to sing it from a third person's perspective, here is how it should go. Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking. And when she passes, each one she passes goes Ah, when she walks, she's like a samba that swings so cool and sways so gentle that when she passes, each one she passes goes, ah, oh, but I watch you so sadly. How can you tell her you love her? Yes, you would give your heart gladly. But each day when she walks to the sea, she looks straight ahead, not at you. Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking. And when she passes, you smile, but she doesn't see. Pero para sa akin, mas bagay kasi siyang kinakanta ng ganun para it makes more sense. Tayo as singer, we don't just channel the emotions of the song, we don't just own the song and interpret it our own way. Binibigyan din natin ng hustisya yung mga lyrics. So, nag-iisip din tayo, nag-a-analyze din tayo, nag-re-research din tayo. Kasi actually, nung kinanta to ni Astrid Gilberto, she was singing on a third person's perspective. Walks to the sea, she 
Para mabigyan natin ang justisya yung aking suggestion na yan, I will be posting some videos of uh, songs of male singers na i-translate natin into a female singer. Abangan niyo po yung mga videos na yan. Anyway, I hope may natutunan po kayo sa ating video ngayon. Okay, thank you very much for tuning in and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye guys!